So now we will see the tutorial 4 which is on uh, ideal gas mixtures. The first problem a gas mixture having volumetric composition of 50% CO2, 30% N2 and 20% O2 at 14 mega pascals and 270 degree centigrade in a rigid flask of volume 0 0.05 meter cube. Heat is added slowly to the flask until the pressure rises to 16.8 mega pascals. Molecular weight of CO2, N2, O2 are 44, 22, 32 kilogram per kilomole respectively. Similarly for Cp, yes in joule per kg Kelvin for these three component is given as 750, 746 and 696. Determine the heat interaction. Volumetric composition that is percentage volumes are given as say 50% CO2, 30% N2, 20% O2. So now mole fractions are same as volume fractions. So, mole fraction of CO2 will be 0.5, mole fraction of N2 will be equal to 0.3, mole fraction of O2 will be 0.2. Then we can get the molecular weight of the mixture that is sigma mole fraction of each component into molecular weight of that particular component which is equal to 0 0.5 into 44 plus 0 0.3 into 28 plus 0 0.2 into 32 which is equal to 36.8 kg per kilo mole. Now specific gas constant of the mixture. R mix will be equal to universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight of the mixture which is equal to 8314 joule per kilo mole kelvin divided by 36.8 kilogram per kilo mole so which is equal to 225.92 joule per kilogram kelvin the specific gas constant r of the mixture now first law for the system equal to q minus w equal to delta u because delta e equal to delta u here in the absence of like we have neglected the kinetic energy and potential energy changes. Now rigid vessel that means w equal to integral p dv equal to 0 since dv equal to 0. So we can say q equal to delta u. delta u equal to mass of the mixture into cv of the mixture into t2 minus t1. So now we have to fix the states. State 1 p1 equal to 14 mega pascals t1 equal to 270 degree centigrade equal to 543 Kelvin, P2 equal to 16.8 mega pascals, at 
and uh, given data volume of the rigid, rigid vessel is 0 0.05 meter cube. So we can find the so this is the volume constant volume at every state state 1 and state 2 the volume is only 0 0.05. So now we can do the calculation of uh, the mixture mass mixture mass we need in this. So use the state 1 m mix will be equal to P1 that is 14 into 10 power 6 into 0 0.05 P1 V1 divided by R, R of the mixture 225.92 into temperature initially is 543 that will give you the mass 5.706 kg. Now state to temperature I need. So T1 I have, this I have. Now state to temperature T2 equal to pressure is known, volume is same. Okay. So 16.8 into 10 power 6 into 0 0.05 divided by M is now known 5.706 into R mix is 225.92. So that will give you the T2 as that is it. Now we have to calculate the CV mix. So let us continue with the next uh, slide. Here for calculating CV mix, we have CV mix equal to sigma yi cvi because here this is in joule per kg kelvin so i have to find the mass fractions so let us find the mass fractions y co2 mass fraction of co2 is equal to mass mole fraction of co2 into molecular weight of co2 divided by molecular weight of the mixture which is equal to 0.5978. Similarly, y of n2 will be equal to x of n2 molecular weight of n2 divided by molecular weight of mixture which is equal to 0 0.2282. Similarly, I can find y o2 equal to 0 0.174. So, now Cv mix equal to 0 0.5978 into the CV of CO2. CV of CO2 is given as uh, 750 plus Y of N2 0 0.2282 into CV of N2 is given as 747 plus 0 0.174 into CV of O2 is 696. So that will give you the CV of mixture as 739. 0.92 joule per kg kelvin. Now Q equal to delta U equal to M mixture CV mixture into T2 minus T1 which is equal to 5.706 into 739.92 into T2 is 651.62 minus T1 is 543. So that is equal to 458591.2 joules. This is the heat transfer. There is no work transfer here. Constant uh, volume. Okay, second problem a vessel is divided into three compartment. Three compartments by two thin partitions like this. Now we can say this is A, this is B and this is C. A has O2, 
O2 and has a volume of 0 0.1 meter cube. B has volume of 0 0.2 meter cube and contains N2. C has a volume of 0 0.05 meter cube and contains CO2. All these parts are at the pressure of 2 bar initially and uh, temperature 13 degrees centigrade 286 Kelvin. Okay, now this is the initial condition of the three compartments where the temperature and pressure is given. Volumes are also given for these compartments. Three, three gases are there O2, N2 and CO2. Now the partitions are removed and the gases are allowed to mix. The partitions are removed then they mix. So initially the vessel is insulated. So the, every, the, all the three compartments are insulated. Determine the partial pressure of each gas and the mole, uh, molecular weight of the mixture. This is first part. Second is then heat is slowly added to the system so that the mixture. So now mixing has happened. A full uniformly mixed gas mixture is obtained. At that point heat is slowly added so that the mixture is heated to a temperature of 100 degrees. So initially it is 13 degrees. Okay. Then finally it reaches 100 degrees. So I can say T2 equal to 100 degrees centigrade 373 Kelvin. Determine the heat transfer. Specific heat is constant volume. Cv is given for O2, N2 and CO2 as 696, 747 and 750 respectively. So this is the problem given to us. Okay, now total volume. Volume is what? 0 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0 0.05 equal to 0 0.35 meter cube. That is the total volume. Now, when the partitions are removed and the contents mix, we can find the volume fraction or the mole fraction, correct? So, this is the volume of oxygen, volume of nitrogen and volume of CO2 given in this. So now the total volume is this. Once they mix, the, power, the volume fraction can be calculated. That is volume fraction is equal to mole fraction is calculated as x O2 equal to 0.1 by total volume 0.35. equal to 0 0.286. Similarly, x n2 will be equal to 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.35 equal to 0 0.572 and x o2 will be equal to 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.35 equal to 0 0.14 Okay, now mole fractions are found. Volume fraction is equal to mole fraction. So initially, individual gases, what volume they occupy is given. Finally, when they mix, the total volume is known. From that, volume fraction is equal to mole fraction are calculated. Now, what is partial pressure? Equal to P of P is the total pressure, okay. So at the state one only we want before the heat is added. Partial pressure is mole fraction of the pi ith component, this is Pi I can say. Pi equal to mole fraction into the total pressure. Total pressure is 2 bar. Okay, because all the three components are at 2 bar, when they mix, the pressure need not change. So the pressure will be at 2 bar. So the partial pressure can be calculated for each component as P O2 will be equal to mole fraction of this 0.286 into 
200 which is equal to 50 7.2 kilo pascals. Similarly, Pn2 for nitrogen it is 0 0.572 into 200 which is equal to 0 0.142 into 200, 28.8 kilo Pascal. So, these are the partial pressure. So, the first part is determine the partial pressure. Now, molecular weight. What is molecular weight of the mixture? Molecular weight of the mixture equal to sigma xi molecular weight of i, which is equal to 31. Point 432 kg per kilo mole. Okay, the first part is no answer. Now, second part is initially it is insulated. Now, one of the insulation is removed and heat is slowly added. Mixture is heated to 100 degrees. Okay, so how to solve that part? Since Volume is constant. What happens? dV equal to 0. So, W equal to integral P dV equal to 0. So, first law is written as Q equal to delta U. Delta Ke equal to delta Pe equal to 0. That is assumed here. So, now Q equal to M of the mixture Cv of the mixture into T2 minus T1. Okay, now we have to find the mass of the mixture. So, first mass of masses of individual components. So, we should get that. That will be m o 2 will be equal to m o 2 is equal to initially 2 bar no so 200 kilo pascals into its volume is 0 0.1 divided by molecular weight is known 32 so we can find the r that is r u by molecular weight so this is r of o 2 into temperature 286 so that will give you the mass 0 0.269 kg. Similarly, M N2 will be equal to 200 into 10 power 3 into here the volume is 0 0.2 divided by 8314 by 28 into 286. So, that will be equal to 0 0.471 kg. And finally, M of CO2 will be equal to 200 into 10 power 3 into 0 0.05 that is the volume it occupied initially divided by 8314 universal gas constant divided by molecular weight into 286. So, that will be equal to 0 0.185. So, the total mass of the mixture will be equal to 0 0.269 plus 0 0.471 plus 0 0.185 which is equal to 0 0.925. Okay, so this is the total mass. Now Cv, Cv of the mixture equal to sigma Yi Cvi. So now what is Yi mass fraction? So, now we have the mass of the mixture, individual masses also we have. So, we can find this as, if for example, for O2 it is 0 0.269 divided by 0 0.925. This will be O mass fraction of O2 into Cv. Cv of O2 is 696 given plus for N2 it is 
zero point four seven one divided by zero point nine two five. This is y of n two into seven forty three plus zero point one eight five divided by zero point nine two five. This is y of c o two into seven fifty. So that will be equal to seven hundred thirty two. Point seven six joule per kg Kelvin. Now we can find Q as M mix is point nine two five and the C mix is on thirty two point seven six into T two. T two is basically hundred degrees, hundred degrees, and T one is thirteen degrees. So that if you substitute, you get the answer as five hundred and Sorry, five eight nine six eight point nine joules or fifty eight point nine kilo joules. That is the answer. So the mixture problems basically a single gas which is ideal gas constitute to a mixture. So such gases constitute a mixture. The mixture of the gas also is considered as ideal gas. But we have to calculate the properties of the mixture based upon some weighted averages. If you have a component property given in per kg basis, like joule per kg Kelvin, then you use for this a property phi as a unit like this. Then we have to get the mixture property as mass fraction into phi. This is mass fraction. So mass fraction weighted average you have to use. On the other hand, if you have joule per kilo mole Kelvin, then you have to use The mole fraction. Okay, so for example, if uh, k equal to joule per kilo mole Kelvin, then this is actually this mixture. Now this mixture will be calculated as sigma x i. This now this x i is the mole fraction. So these are all weighted averages. That's it. So once you do this, then you get the Mixture of gases treated as a single ideal gas.